So achondroplasia is the most common non-lethal form of skeletal dysplasia that affects approximately one in 20,000 live births. It is caused by an alteration of the fibroblast growth factor receptor 3, that I will call FGFR3 for short, to make it shorter, that is usually expressed in the growth plates and modulate the, the growth of the bones by slowing it down. In achondroplasia, this alteration in the FGFR3 um, results in a receptor that is overactive or on all the time, which ultimately makes the bones grow slower and in an irregular manner. So this condition is characterized by disproportionate short stature with um, arms and legs that are shorter compared to the torso and the head that is usually bigger than the rest of the body. But even though those are the most evident features, many bones are affected, which cause numerous complications that can be even life-threatening. One of the most serious ones, um, and that occurs in infancy, is the sleep apnea and the sudden infant death um, that results from the narrowing of the foramen magnum, that is the opening between the head and the neck. Um, Aside from that, there are many other complications that children and adults with achondroplasia experience throughout their lives. Um, for example, during childhood, children may have frequent ear infections that can lead to hearing impairments and even hearing loss. There are complications in the skeletal where they can see, uh, they can have um, abnormal uh, curvature of the spines or bowing of their legs that uh, impact how they walk, how they run, and can even damage their joints later on in, in life. They can also have obstructive sleep apneas due to the small airways and enlarged adenoids. Um, they usually it's very common to have obesity, both in children and adults. And many of these complications require surgery. So uh, children and adults with achondroplasia usually undergo several surgeries during their, life, their lifetime. So achondroplasia is a condition that does not affect only the height, but it affects the overall health of the individuals uh, with achondroplasia. And also the, it impacts their quality of life, both of the, in the individual and their families. Mm -hmm.